What's up guys, Andy Smith, eXp Realty. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the top five things to do in Holland, Michigan in the winter. On this channel, I'll be sharing top to bottom everything you need to know about real estate, as well as the awesome cities in West Michigan. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to Holland, and that's welcome with a K. I might be a little biased because I grew up here, but Holland is one of my favorite West Michigan cities. And nerd alert, Holland is a Dutch community with a population of just under 35,000 people, and it was settled in 1847 by Albertus van Rolte. Hey, that's me. And that brings us to number five on our list, sledding. Now, what does that have to do with van Rolte? Well, this park was actually owned by Benjamin Van Rolte, the son of Holland's founder, Elvis Van Rolte, and his house actually still stands on this property today. So this park's really cool because it has trails, a dog park, a kid's play area, but most iconically, the lighted sledding hill. Perfect to bring those kiddos out here, and even if you don't have kids, build the ramp and send other kids. Just kidding, don't do that. Liability issues. Let's get out of here. Coming in at number four is Sperry Movie House. If you're looking for a place to spend the afternoon indoors out of the cold, this is the spot for you. Opening in 2019 with the expansion of downtown Holland, this movie theater provides an experience like none other. And they even have a second floor bar restaurant area where you can grab a quick bite to eat or drink before your movie. Heck, you can even bring it into the movie if you want. They also have state-of-the-art seating with full recline and heat options. And did I forget to mention, they have a kids theater. With play equipment, you can let those kids run wild. And yeah, there's a giant slide in there. So coming in at number three are all the local parks. Holland actually has 1,800 acres of parks. My favorite, Riley Trails, which has eight miles of trails, perfect for hiking, running, cross-country skiing, fat tire biking. It's a perfect opportunity to get out, get some fresh air, and kill a little bit of time. And coming in at number two is the Holland State Park. You might be asking, Andy, what the heck am I gonna do in the winter at the state park? And yeah, you won't do the boat watching and playing in the sand or soaking in the sun, but once that water freezes over, it provides an experience like none other. Look guys, I'm easily 200 yards offshore. I'm just slightly scared. You can easily spend an hour exploring up and down the shoreline or walking the pier, but be careful, it's pretty slippery out there. The other cool thing about the state park in the winter is there's free admission. And don't forget to check out Mount Pisgah on your way out. It's a hidden gem that if you're not looking for it, you probably drove right past it. And at the top, you're right around 160 feet above the water level, and you have perfect views of Lake Mack, Lake Michigan, the marinas, and the lighthouse. And it's only 200 step, 250, 230, hold on a second. Two hundred thirty nine. Two hundred thirty nine steps. And finally, coming in at the number one thing to do in Holland in the winter is visiting downtown. Downtown has grown tremendously since I was young and consists of various shops, restaurants, and breweries. In Nerd Alert, one special thing about Downtown Holland is their snow melt system. There's 600,000 square feet of tubing running 4.9 miles under all the roads and sidewalks, pumping 4,700 gallons per minute at 95 degrees, which can melt snow one inch per hour. Downtown Holland has tons of awesome businesses, and by far one of my favorites is the iconic peanut store. Now, if you're a local, you grew up visiting this store nonstop, and they have all sorts of candy that can settle any sweet tooth. Now, if you're in town for a quick bite, you have to check out the City Deli. They make a fantastic grab-and-go sandwich, by far the best, being the number 15 San Francisco. Now, coincidentally, they're the sponsor of this video. Wait, huh? Really? Evidently, we forgot to call, so there is no sponsor of this video. So you sure I mentioned the snow melt system? There's no snow. You go wear your good shoes. If you're coming in for a night out or a sit-down meal with drinks, I suggest checking out the new Hopcat. 
or New Holland Brewery. Both have great atmosphere, awesome food, and fantastic drink menus. And there you have it, the five best things to do in Holland in the winter. And I look forward to bringing you guys all sorts of videos showcasing these amazing cities in West Michigan. Don't forget to subscribe.